Hello. Welcome back. We're here in Dragonfin Soup, and we're doing more fishing. We're picking up exactly where we left off last time with more fishing. Yes, I know you're super excited about it. I know this is all what you always wanted to see. You woke up this morning and you said, you know what I want to see? I want to watch some bozo on YouTube fail at a fishing mini game and some obscure game I've never heard of or played. Well, you're in luck, stranger, because I've got you covered. Because this is how this works. You throw the rod and the thing and the thing and you spin this little thing round and 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 all the different red light green lights until you pull in rust buckets. That's it. That's how the magic happens, kids. I know it's your lifelong dream and your goal to be as cool as I am right now. But not everybody can be as stunningly epic at failing at life as I am. If you watched last episode, you heard me talk about my taxes. How I spent all day doing them and how my brain is an absolute pile of goo. I just, uh, I just finished uh, filing them. And got done filing them. Why do I? I don't even know what lure works. What you? Maybe you'll work. Buy all. Start selling some of this shit. Uh, I finished filing my taxes. I sat down. I turned on some dragon fin soup, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna release some stress by doing a horrible mini game. Halfway through recording that episode, I got an email saying, hey, your tax return has been rejected. It's been 30 minutes. 30 minutes max. And they've already rejected my tax return. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I don't even know why. They didn't even tell me why. They're like, sorry, it's not gonna work. I didn't, have, I didn't know you could have your tax return rejected. But apparently you can. And apparently I did. So I'm gonna spend... I'm gonna say screw it. I'm not gonna worry about it today. It is 10 o'clock at night where I am recording this right now. And I'm not gonna worry about it. Screw it. Fuck it. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Cause I don't have the brain power or the give a shit to deal with it today. So, we're fishing. We're fishing, fishing, fishing. We're a fishing maniac. Boom. Well, if the goal is to get all the way down to the bottom, we nailed that one. I have no idea if that helps, though. No idea. Could, could help. Could not help. It could be the way we get rusty old bastards. It could... It could not. I have no idea what this depth thing does. Depth. The depth. The depth of it all. It's very deepest. No idea what that does. All I know is that we're trying to get not shovels. We're trying to get the speckled salmon. I think that's what it's called. It's the whatever the rainbow trout salmon or whatever the shit it is. Strawberry salmon. I don't know what the first word is, but the second word I know is salmon. The type of fish is a salmon. So freaking, we're cleaning out. We are doing some serious trash removal to this tiny lake. We should get paid for that too. All of our waste removal services. You know that or we should start our own business. We will come clean out your lake of all of the things that you don't want in it. And it also does that time to time. I'm not quite sure why, just because it feels like it. But sometimes an inanimate game the game is programmed to just say, screw you, I'm not going to do what you want me to do. I am instead going to slap you across the face for no reason. Oddly enough, that happens. Uh, most most fishing minigames are built that way. I, uh, I'm remembering the fishing minigame in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Remember how you had to get the, like, that, it was that heart piece? You had to catch the super big fish it was uh, where was it? it was up by the lake of the lake by the Zoras I think 
And it was only after the, the, you became an adult you could go and fish. And if you caught the big, big... Stop trying to walk that way, you stupid bitch. If you caught the suit, you had to catch the... It was like a 20-pound lunker in order to get the heart piece. I mean, it, you, the way it would inevitably go is you'd get every other heart piece in the game. And then that was the only one you didn't have, and you'd just resign yourself to the fact that you spent an, an evening doing nothing but fishing. And just do it over and over. And you, you could see him in the lake, too. You could walk up into the lake and you could see him. If you could just take your sword out and skewer him, then you'd be great. But you couldn't do that. So, stop. So, you had to sit there, like, perched on a tree that had fallen into the lake, but you couldn't be in the water because it would scare the fish. So you had to be balancing on one leg while tied to a hoverboard while fishing into the fish's face with the right kind of rod and lure and lunch and beer and the right music playing. And it had to be playing Barry White's Here by One and Only. And it had to be in somewhere in the second verse. And the lure had to just graze his nose ever so delicately. Before he would finally look over and say, oh, hey. And then, then, then there was a 0.05% chance that he would bite it. And then if he did bite it, then it was the frickin' fight of a lifetime to get his fat ass dragged into the frickin'... So he could haul his fat chunky buns up. And when you actually did finally get him... He was as big as you were. He was huge. Like, because Link holds him up next to you. Like, next to him once he pulls him out of the water. And it would clip into the ground. The 3D model of the fish would just... was so big, it would clip into the ground. It was bigger than Link was. That, I think, was the king of all fishing minigames. Because that was the only real point of it. It was that one heart piece. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Because in Stardew Valley, the Stardew Valley fishing minigame is a pain in the neck. But there's a lot of things that you get from the minigame, so it's kind of worth the pain in the neck. It's a it's a bear, and then you slowly get better at it, and you have to level up in it, and then you have to get the other lures, and then you have to get the other rods, and then you have to make the bait, and then once you make the bait, then you have to... You know what I mean? Like, there's all this stuff, but you get a lot of stuff out of it. There's the whole fishing bundle and the crab pots and there's like a million different kind of fish and all the fish do things and you can use the fish to make you know high quality fertilizer it was a pain in the neck don't get me wrong but you got a lot out of it in return that legend of zelda mini fishing mini game was a pain in the ass too but the only thing you got out of it was that one heart piece that was it you got one fourth of a hard piece out of it. Such a freaking This is insane. I haven't caught shit. I don't think of what other games had a classic fishing minigame. Didn't Star Ocean have a minigame? Final Fantasy XV has a fishing minigame. That one is... Seemingly useless is the word, is the phrase I want to use. I have no idea what the point of the fishing minigame is in Final Fantasy XV. I've done it a couple times. I did the tutorial. Granted, I'm not that far in the game. So I pretty much did the fishing tutorial. And... A little bit more. We fished it out. Uh, I've done the fishing tutorial and a couple other things. These are all the same. Yeah, they are. All right. Well, don't have any problem selling them then. Do 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 do. Sell all of the things. This is a very frustrating sell screen too. 
Because you can't just drag it and let it go there. You have to drag it into a spot. You can't just drag it into the window. It's kind of annoying. Don't need you. God, we've... Oh shit, we have $15,000. Holy Moses. All right, well, buy all of your lures. And then we'll be back to do it again. Maybe the salmon only show up at night? There is a specific kind of day that they only show up in? Or that you're more likely to catch fish? Or maybe there's a special lure that you need that's more enticing to catch fish? Or maybe there's a certain depth I don't know. I have no idea. None of this is explained anywhere in this game. Or online for that matter. I can't find any information of this shit online. So, we're just... Another three grand. Take that. Cost us, what, 20 bucks? So I'm just kind of digging in the dark with all this stuff. If you have any information, I'd love to know. I don't know who's watching this. Probably nobody. But if God forbid you have any idea what I'm supposed to be doing, that I'm not doing, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would comment somewhere, let me know. Mayhaps the Grim Brothers development team? I doubt that, seeing as apparently they've fallen off the face of the- Speckled Salmon! That's all we need, right? Right? Where's my inventory? Speckled Salmon, Speckled Salmon. Yes! All right. So, equipment, we're using these guys. The Orange Snatcher Lure. To captivate unwise fish. All right. And I think we did that all the way down at the bottom. So we're gonna just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Who knows if it'll work? No idea. Could be all random. Shit if I know. Another three grand, I'll take that. I gotta be honest, I don't know how long I'm gonna play this game. I'm already starting to get a little frustrated with it. It seems cool, it seems, but it's just the little things. I like the story, I like the characters, I like the battle system. It's the little things. The controls are a little weird, which it's a little thing that makes a big difference. And there's just kind of like a general speckled salmon great. Oh, it's great E. But we got another speckled salmon, so I think we're maybe we're onto something here. This type of lure, this type of spot. Um, but anyway, the controls are a little weird. It's the clicking that really gets me. Um, the clicking, it you click on something that you think you're clicking on something, and you actually click on something else. And there's kind of this just general, I have no idea what's going on organizational-wise with this game. Like, I'm trying to think about how to describe it. There was a game that came out called Legend of Mana. Not Secret of Mana, it was, oh, that was the Super Nintendo game, but Legend of Mana was a PlayStation game. And... You just kind of start in the game and you're on a map and you run around and you fight some bad guys and then it takes you to another map where you can place an item then you place that item and then you go somewhere else. And it's just so confusing. I was really excited about that game when it came out. I liked the art style. I liked the design. But I just didn't have any idea like how the game was working. Like, there was all these things and I'm like, I don't know what this does. I don't know where this goes. I don't know what the what's the point. Am I supposed to place this here? Am I supposed to place that there? I had no idea what was going on. And because of all of the I don't knows, I, st I stopped playing the game. Couldn't play it. Um, my brother has since played it and beaten the hell out of it. But he had to use a FAQ. For, uh, FAQ. He had to use a walkthrough from like gamefacts.com or whatever. And that didn't exist when the game came out. I mean, maybe it did, but I didn't. I was, if it did, I wasn't using them. 
So it was super frustrating. And this is kind of the same kind of deal. I just don't know what's going on. Like the first time we saw the the world screen, the, the, I just clicking on things because I guess that's where I'm supposed to click on. Like there's no explanation. Maybe it's in the user's manual. Maybe it's in the game guide. I don't know, still haven't read it. But what, of, what I did read of the game guide didn't really seem too... Well, to be perfectly frank, the game guide didn't really... I read the parts that I did read were confusing as shit to understand. To just understand the general controls and stuff. This game came out, is out on the PC, Steam, and the PlayStation 4, and I think the Xbox One. I don't know about the Xbox, but I know it's on PlayStation 4, and I know it's on PC. So the point is, is that there's two sets of instructions. One for a mouse. No, go in the door. There's one for a mouse and keyboard, and there's one for a controller joystick. Not joystick. Controller setup. And it makes a lot of sense that you would need two sets of instructions. But the way that the information is displayed to you, they're all back to back. It switches back and forth from, uh, okay, this is what you need for the controller. This is what you need for the keyboard and mouse. This is what you need for the controller. This is what you need for the keyboard and mouse. In such a way that just reading it is just generally incomprehensible. It just doesn't make any sense. What are you? Speckled salmon. Oh, but you're not. Yeah, go away. It just doesn't. It's confusing. It's very confusing to try and figure out what, the information that you're trying to get across. So eventually I reread it four or five times and I finally understood it and I got it. But it was very confusing for a while. Equipment. Let's put the rest of you on there. So, just saying. I don't know how, I'm, how long I'm going to play this game. It's, uh, it seems fine now, but if it gets any worse, I don't know if we're going to make it to the end of this game. Grade D. Oh, missed it by one grade. Mm, spinny, 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 spinny. Spin is a lure, spin is a line. Great D. Oh, come on. At least we're ca catching speckled salmon again, so. We've got that going for us. It's only a matter of time before we catch him with the right grade. All right? Theoretically? Yes, I do want to fish. My neighbors keep coming in and out. I have no idea where they're going. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's not like my neighbors who, you know, they're young and they're, you know, going out on the town. It's like dad and his three-year-old daughter. I'm just trying to think of it. It's like, where are you going? 10 o'clock at night on a Thursday night. Uh, I guess it's none of my business. They could be going anywhere they want. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Red light, green light. Green light, green light, green light, green light. Oyster. I love how it's in grams too. I mean, I live in the United States, California, so we don't measure our things in grams here. We do ounces. We don't use that stupid metric logic system. We use our we use our fun imperial system that makes no sense to anybody but us. It started off as uh, the rest of the worlds, but then we stole it and everybody else went to the metric system. Because the metric system makes sense. And we Americans do not. Clearly. Just look at who we just put into office. The rusty old bastard. Mm, spinny, spinny, spinny. 
spinny, 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 spinny. Hold. Oh, green light. Ah, hold. Red light. Ah, spin it, red light, green light. We're making some fucking fat cash on these warm battle helms. I'm not gonna lie, the more of those we get, I'm not gonna be upset. We've got $32,000. We can buy some awesome equipment that we won't be able to equip because we're not on a high enough level. Oyster, come on guys, I need one more. Just give me the goods, I got 10 minutes to get it. I gotta do a whole nother episode trying to get freaking one fish. Just watch it, it's gonna take three episodes. It's gonna take an episode of fish. <laughs> God, I hope not. I really hope not. I was kind of hoping to do some plot next. Until, you know what I mean, go forward in the game. Uh, uh, more monies. I don't really know what we spend the money for, though. I'm thinking about it now. Yeah, we got a lot of money, but what the hell am I going to spend it on? I can't buy gear because I'm not a high enough level to equip the gear. I can't, like, blow it all on potions. Because they don't sell potions. So I'm not quite sure what to do with it all. It's great that we got it. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with all this money. Let's buy a whole bunch of fishing lures. <laughs> Sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you. All of the things get sold. Look at all these battle helms we've got. Each one sells for three grand. Speckled salmon, grade D. A, A, D. It needs to be A, B, or C, right? Before I sell this guy, I'm going to double check because... Speckled salmon, grade D. Yeah, let me just double check this real quick before I grade A, B, C. All right. Then you two guys can go because you do me no good. No good. I'll have to. <laughs> Bastard. Screw you. This is taking way too long. As fun as side quests are. Oh, he's out. He's completely out of the orange ones. Oh shit. Well, what if I want more? What if I need more for my speckled salmon collection? For my speckled salmon fetish. I need I need a speckled salmon in my bed to to get off. I have to slap it across my chest. I have to call me dirty names. It's the only way you can get enjoyment these days. No? You're not out? You're not gonna make some especially for me? Even if I do you a favor? I just can't have you not have my lures. Well, hopefully this isn't the only lure that catches speckled salmon. Rusty salmon or whatever they are. Rusty old bastard salmon. I guess as a fishing minigame, this isn't that bad. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You spin it with green, you spin it this way. Red, you spin it this way. It's pretty self-explanatory. Could be worse. Why well, I'm out. Uh, blues, you're up. Yes, I would like to fish. This way. And it's not hard. I guess I should say that. It's not a hard minigame. Not just that it's self-explanatory, but it's not too terribly hard. One of the videos I was watching 
this this guy was like dragon fin soup fishing why is it so damn hard and i don't know i can imagine the controls on the on the the controls on the controller are a little bit difficult when you don't have a mouse i'm hoping you just spin uh spin the joystick in whatever direction you need you know spin to win maybe not i don't know i don't know how it works on the controller could be really frustrating and really confusing for all i know because if if you click you can actually make it spin with the with the this is me trying to do it with the keyboard that the keyboard so I can see where this would be hard with a joy controller because you have to do the WSD buttons in the in the direction to make it spin. So that sucks. But. Or you can just click on it with the mouse and spin it. So much easier. Oh my god. Come on, guys. I need one more fish. One more rusty salmon. Guys, come on. Come on, game. Come on, fish. Get on my little rod. I need you. I need your rusty salmonness on my rod. So I can give you to some other guy. Spend away, people. Spend away. Fat oyster. 500 gram oyster. It's a hell of an oyster. I notice I haven't got any pearls either. I haven't gotten a pearl in a while. I thought I kept those four that I got. Because that was the only four that I've ever caught. a lot more equipment than I do fish. But I guess now that I know what this little pond thing looks like, I can keep an eye out for it. Maybe there's another one in another location. Maybe in another town or something. I can try to fish in another spot. Maybe they have better fishing there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I hope so, because this is... I've been doing this for an hour already. Kind of over the fishing of it all. I want to go do something else. I mean, like I said, it could be worse. There's more frustrating... More frustrating... Minigames. But... Oh, that water was loud. But I'm ready to be done with it. What can I say? What can I, what I say is I'm ready to be done with it. I'm out of lures again. What do I have left? Pinks. I mean purples. All right, purples, you're up. Take them away. The orange ones were the uh, rusty salmon ones, weren't they? The sweet rusted salmon. Nothing really gets me going than a rusty salmon salad, you know? Just kind of pour some, some balsamic vinegar on it. Mash it up against your face. Squeeze it between your cheeks. Squish it around for a bit. I love it. It's good for you, too. I mean, you got to get your tetanus shot beforehand. Because it's, you know, rusty salmon. But still... Fucking great. So good. 
so good. Spend, 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 spend. Red light. Green light. Oh, that was easy. One direction, just go. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. A lot of rusty old buckets. A lot of rusty buckets. Like all we're catching is bucket after bucket after bucket. Maybe we should stop fishing so deep, maybe? I don't know. It's a guess. I mean maybe it wouldn't hurt to try it. Oysters and rusty buckets. Alright, let's try fishing a little higher up. Seeing as oysters and buckets seem I mean logically seem like they would be on the bottom of a lake. So maybe we should be fishing more in the middle of the lake. Or not. Yes, I would like to fish. So, try it for the middle now. Try it for the middle. Like I said, if anybody has any freaking idea what I'm supposed to be doing, if you let me know, that'd be great. Because I have no freaking clue. All I'm doing is spin to win and guessing at the rest. I don't know I'm getting as rusty buckets and bastards. I'm become starting to become a rusty bastard. Fridge. Hey, I gotta pull a rusty refrigerator out. Put all this fish in there. Not quite sure why it does that still. I've also noticed that there's sound effects in this game that sound like I'm hitting my table or I'm hitting my desk or something like that. And they're totally in-game. The only thing I'm moving right now is my mouse. I don't even have my other hand on the table. And there was that noise that it sounded like I dropped something. That noise! It sounds like somebody's dropping something. But it's not me, it's the game. It throws me off all the time because I'm always lo I'm looking for what I'm- what am I doing? It's making that noise. And then it's not me. sell all this stuff and then we're gonna be done because I'm I'm over this it was fun it was real I wish I could say it was real fun it's a pleasure to try and fish again all that fun look at how many rusty buckets we have freaking so many rusty buckets if only we got in a rusty trombone we would have been set but apparently nobody around here is a musician so what are you gonna do? Jesus. So many rusty buckets. So you too. I don't need another oyster. Don't need an oyster at all to be actually more or less another oyster. Alright, the two fish. Here's the thing is I remember him saying make sure you do it quickly so the fish don't go bad. Are the fish actually gonna go bad? Oh, I really hope not. I really, really hope not. Alright, well, we're done with this episode. 
I'm gonna call it quits. Tune in next week for when we do it all over again. And by next week, I mean I'm gonna do it right now because there's no way I'm gonna turn this game off, and this is what I'm gonna have to come back to. So I'm gonna batch record the shit out of this until we get this freaking fish. So I will see you in 30 seconds or whenever you decide to watch the next episode. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you watch. See you later.